turned into a stone by her. This queen is looking for a mystical location, which Alyosha is aware of, but he wishes to safeguard it. He refuses to tell the queen, so she turns him into a stone. Alyosha's companion flees the queen and dives into the water. The queen is shown to have made a large number of stone people, and then the main figure Ivan appears. He was a magician who had been living apart from his family since he was a child. We'll find out more later. Ivan amuses the audience while executing the various ceremonies. This is his line of work. When Ivan returns home from his act, he encounters an elderly lady. She assures her that she will soon be in another world. Ivan ignores the elderly lady and continues on his way home. Ivan lives alone in his house, although he has a maid who looks after him. Ivan met with that lady and informed her that there is black energy in her residence. Because of the energy, her husband is cheating on her. At that lady's residence, Ivan performs a ritual to clear the black energy. In exchange, the lady offers Ivan a large sum of money. After hearing about Ivan's powers, a lady doctor contacts him. She explains that her patient is a little boy who has been in a coma for a long time, and that the doctors are attempting to reawaken him. Any medication that has been given to that child has had no effect. Ivan is asked to execute a ceremony to awaken the child by the lady doctor. When Ivan sees the kid, he says he won't be able to help him. He was about to leave, and Ivan felt awful for the boy. He recalls his upbringing in the orphanage, when he was younger. For taunting him, the kids have confined him in a room. Ivan used a pin to open the business, and he still retains the pin. Even today, he thinks the pin is lucky for him. He was dining in a restaurant when the lady's husband arrived at the house where Ivan had done the right. When Ivan sees his guards, he realizes what he's up to. From there, he instantly flees. He enters a slide and, to his surprise, emerges from the other side into a forest. When Ivan arrived, he was shocked to see everything, and before he could comprehend what was going on, a man appeared. The man is first seen at the beginning of the film. Ivan is told by the man who escaped the queen and the man that he is now in the other world. He tells Ivan that his parents requested that he be hidden. Ivan couldn't comprehend him and was taken aback when he saw magic. Ivan is given a ring by the elderly man, who requests him to save the location. Ivan was shot with an arrow before he could ask the elderly man any questions. The old man dies as a result of it, and some guards approach on horses. They brought Ivan along, and they were the king's guards. They take Ivan to the monarch of their country. When the monarch sees the ring in Ivan's hand, he remains silent. The monarch releases his hands and informs Ivan that he is his brother. He had lost his childhood and was overjoyed when he met Ivan. He greets everyone and introduces Ivan. Ivan encounters the queen, who is first seen at the beginning of the film. With her sorcery, she has turned Alyosha into a stone. The queen takes Ivan to the castle to show him around. She carefully locks him in a locker. In that locker, Ivan encounters a man named Koshchi. Separate sections of his body were encased in ice. The man says to Ivan, I know who you are and where you came from. Ivan inquires of the man, what brings you here? You were brought here because you are Alyosha's son, according to the man. During their chat, another prisoner was brought in. Ivan then asks the man if he can return to his planet because she was a witch. Ivan is told by the man trapped in the ice that he will require a magical weapon to survive. That enchanted weapon can only be found by Alyosha's son. He claims I've also wielded that weapon. As a result, I've become immortal. We were attacked and taken prisoner by the knights. When a female enters the prison at night, everyone is sleeping. Nalsi was the girl and the witch made everyone in the prison faint with her power. Nalsi was about to free the man who had been stuck in the ice. She unites his bodily parts, and the man asks Ivan to accompany him after he is released, believing that Ivan will assist them. Ivan was raising his luggage when he pressed a bell by accident. When the bell sounds, the guards approach, Nalsi fights with them, and they flee while the guards are distracted. When the queen learns that everyone has escaped from the prison, she takes action to apprehend them. They've come a long way, and the queen informs the king the next day. 
The king is unaware that his brother is being held captive by the queen. The king believes his brother aided the man while opposing him. The man who was imprisoned in the ice. On the other hand, Ivan, Nalsi, and Koshchi are depicted. They've arrived at the witch's residence. When Ivan arrives, he adds to their problems by inadvertently setting fire to the witch's dwelling. The witch grows enraged, but Koshchi assures her that they will want Ivan's assistance in their hunt. They go, and Ivan enjoys his journey. They arrive at a lake and speak with a protector who provides them with some information. Nalsi makes an attempt to impress him with her appearance. When Nalsi realizes it's a frog-like creature, she retreats. The protector is impressed by the witch's transformation into a lovely lady and decides to assist them. When the queen arrives, she sees that the frog-like creature is assisting them. This is the message that the queen sends to her king. They arrive at a cave where a massive beast is sleeping. They proceed without interfering with it. In the meantime, Ivan's phone rings, and the gigantic beast awakens. When the gigantic creature attacks Ivan, Nalsi seeks assistance from the frog-like creature, who turns out to be a knight. When Ivan realizes the behemoth is a lady, he begins to impress her with his song. They have the opportunity to proceed forward from there, and they arrive at a lake. Koshchi instructs the frog-like creature to keep the fish under his control. So they can easily traverse the lake, but they flee because of the fishes. During this time, Koshchi and Nalsi begin fighting. As Nalsi walks away, Koshchi tells Ivan his story. He reveals that the king admires Nalsi and that the queen is envious of him. As a kind of retaliation, the queen has turned Nalsi's family into frogs. While reversing the queen's spell, the witch assists her and transforms them into humans. Hearing Nalsi's narrative makes Ivan sad, so he gives her a bunny to make her agree. Nalsi is terrified of that rabbit, who transforms into a queen and surrounds them with the queen's guards. They jump into a well to get away from the guards and block the area. In a little while, the frog thing appears, and upon seeing the witch, it becomes enraged. The creature assists them when the witch deceives them, and it comes to a halt there to face the queen. The queen extinguishes the frog creature, and they proceed down the other way. Ivan wants to return to his realm, but Nalsi is not pleased. She likes Ivan, that's why. The queen was there with her guards when they awoke the next day. Nalsi engages in combat with the queen's guards. During the struggle, Nalsi falls from the height but manages to escape by transforming into a frog. From there, the queen grabs Ivan, but Ivan manages to get away while distracting the queen. As he approached the passageway, he noticed a swarm of swords. The queen also arrives and assaults Ivan with her magic. During this time, Ivan obtains the genuine sword and easily defeats the queen. Later, he offers the sword to Koshchi, who dupes him into changing the sword with the king for the purpose of a stone. We realize that the king was the mastermind behind this scheme. With the use of their sword and stone, he wished to become immortal. The monarch, on the other hand, deceives Koshchi. Nalsi arrives as the king attacks Koshchi. While attacking him, Nalsi throws the sword a long distance. Ivan takes up the blade and returns to his own realm. Ivan was not pleased when he arrived in his real world. He reconsiders leaving Nalsi in this state, and he moves away from the slide path once more. In the meantime, the guards are holding him. The king was about to finish his spell when Ivan entered and shot him. When the king arrives to finish Ivan, a dragon appears and assists Ivan in obtaining the time to liberate Nalsi. Nalsi warns Ivan that if he breaks the monarch's stone, the king would perish shortly. Ivan draws the king's attention, and he begins battling with him while laying down his sword. The queen and Nalsi, on the other hand, were arguing. Ivan discovers that her father has been turned into a stone by the queen and the king. Koshchi picks up the stone during this time. Koshchi appears to be about to use the stone to help him, but he breaks it with his sword. Because of it, Koshchi and the king died, but the queen managed to flee. The individuals who were transformed into stones become fine as the king dies. They included Ivan's father as well. When they see each other, they become emotional and happy.